Hello reformers and welcome back to Parisno 0.9. Now we have arrived in Fountain Hall. Yes, in the previous episode we were on our way to Dwalnor and I went all the way over there. Nothing much happened. With the exception of me delivering my ale, I took a look at the marketplaces, by the way, for the Dwarven crossbow, and unfortunately there doesn't seem to be one there at the moment. I'm going to check back at a later time and hopefully we'll be able to get one. I did see a rather wonderful siege crossbow available for 2,700, but I thought to myself, that might be a little bit too much at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're trying to, of course, save up for more enterprises, and that's exactly what we're going to try and do. Anyway. I saw a number of you actually asking in the comments how I see where the companions are. And uh, you've apparently asked, you know, ransom brokers and travelers and so on and so forth. But I'm just going to show you real quick here what it actually is, the option. Have you met any travelers looking for work? And you can see here that he will tell us that Thailan is in Kalataka. And you can see that Dietrich is in Vinica. And uh, Slider is in Grund, and so on and so forth. And basically, I just looked for Allendale. I just kept asking, 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 and I found Allendale, of course, in the previous episode. And uh, that's how, that's how you find the find the people. Arakanus, oh, he's the most expensive, of course. Yes, he is. Kara is in ah, Kara is in Freising, so it might actually be an idea for us to head over there as soon as possible. But that's very far away from where we currently are. Anyway, there is also another reason why we're here, with the exception of me getting a task from Amana's guild master to, uh, well, should we say, escort a caravan here. And that's exactly what I've done just now. We did level up, by the way. Myself and uh, Alan Dell leveled up, and uh, we are now, mm, I think I'm level... What, what level am I, actually? I'm level 10. Oh, there we go. I'm level 10, and Allendale is now level 14, I believe. And, uh, yes, what am I going to be specking into here? Well, yes, I, I did actually get it correct in thinking that crossbows do require strength. And uh, I, th I, th I think I saw a comment that said that the crossbows don't require strength, but apparently they do. So there you go. That's great. That's been cleared up. I'm actually just going to go for 21 in strength here just to... Just to round it off pretty nicely. If I want to go for 24, then of course we can do that. But I think for the moment we should be fine. And what else are we going to be going for here? Well, obviously I want to be as good a fighter as possible. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to go for some additional power strike here. And we're going to go for some more two-handed. There's a reason for this. And I'll show you exactly why in a second. And here is that very reason. This chest right here has something that I very much think is going to assist us in our, shall we say, prisoner-taking, money-making ways. Hamlet's Divine Hammer. This is one of the legendary weapons you can get in Parisno. And, well, this is the easiest one, as far as I'm aware, that you can find. And, of course, because it's two-handed, you know, two it can be used on a horse. It has blunt weapons, you know, blunt, blunt weapons. It has blunt damage, and it can crush through blocks and do all kinds of wonderful things. We are going to be using this to, hopefully, great effect. Now, from our little foray into other lands, I have returned to McCann here because I would like to try and build some more relation and indeed, you know, try to do a couple of tasks, try and get some opportunities to appear before us and, well, this is a good one. I have good information that a man in this very town is actually an enemy spy. He should be seized and hanged for his impudence, but we also believe that very soon he will leave town to meet with his master. The man to whom the spy feeds all his little whispers. The spy himself is of little import, but the master is a dangerous man, and could tell us a great deal if we could only get our hands on him. I want you to wait here until the spy leaves town, then you must follow him, stealthily, to the meeting place. You must take absolute care not to be seen by the spy on your way, else he may suspect foul play and turn back. When the master appears, you must ambush and arrest them and bring the pair back to me, alive if you please. Yes, I will do exactly this. This is going to be very, very difficult for me. I'm absolutely awful at this spy quest, but we're going to try our best. Where'd he go? Did he go off to the right? Is that him? No, that's not him. Where did he go? I guess I'm, I, I think he went off in this direction. Alright, so uh, as far as I'm aware, I think this is where the spy has gone. Now, just, you know... Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that this is where he has gone. I really don't know, but it's going to be 
<laughs> uh, a bit touch and go here because there's actually a vassal very close by to me right now and I'm a bit worried about that specifically because they probably have very strong units and this patrol is from the Valahir clan and the Valahir clan have taken it upon themselves by the looks of things to harbor the master of the spy by the looks of things at least and uh, yeah, so I've tried my best to keep up with the guy, but it seems like he's very, very quick. I don't exactly know. Oh, yeah, it's very, very difficult. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, I guess we're going to do okay here, hopefully, because obviously the patrol is going to have some extremely good units here. And wow, the brightness is just insane. I actually have the gamma on a very normal default level here. I don't have it too bright and I don't have it too low. So should be should be okay, personally, I feel. But anyway, I have my crossbow at the ready, and it seems like some of the enemies actually do have two-handed, which is going to be extremely good for us. Okay, now, come on now, guys. Let's let's do this. I am amazingly not... Oh, yeah, it's because all my infantry is blocking them. How fantastic. Yes, blocking my crossbowmen. What a, what a wonderful idea. Okay, well, at least I have this wonderful two-handed, and hopefully I will be able to use it to... Hopefully knock this guy unconscious. Yeah, there we Oh. Oh, yes. That's actually good. Very nice indeed. I was actually thinking to myself, oh, no, that's the Lord. But no, then I realized that we're not actually fighting a vassal. So, yeah, let's just try and get as many of these guys taken prisoner as possible. That valley here, Hildegard or whatever it was called. I can't, I can't remember what it was called. But that valley here unit was going to be selling for a huge amount. It is going to sell for a huge amount at the very least. Well... I guess the, the good thing about this is that we are able to hopefully capture a bunch. Alright, so it seems like I've been able to catch up with them and, uh, well, here they are. Now, we are surrounded by the peoples of Valor here and let me just say, they have about 800 in each army and I actually walked by a whole bunch of them. Thankfully, they're super slow so it's easy to get by. Otherwise, in the name of Agathocrax, you are under arrest. You'll have to fight us first. Alright, so I took a look at the quest just to reiterate on what I actually need to do here. And it does say, capture them. So, I do have a blunt weapon. So technically, I should have a pretty easy time of knocking them unconscious if we were to go into the battle right here. But I think it is probably going to be a wiser decision for us to do some auto-calculations. Because if we do this... We have a high chance of getting the person or persons that we probably need to get knocked unconscious. So, I'm going to try this. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, we were able to capture at least one of them. And as far as I'm aware, the unremarkable townsman is the spy's master. So, I'm hopeful that Agathor Krex will be pretty happy with this result. And so, I'm going to capture him and a caravan guard who I don't really care about that much. And we're just going to take some loot here to sell as well. All right, so do bear in mind that uh, Alan Dell and everything did level up as well. I uh, spec'd him into surgery and wound treatment, gave him an additional point in intelligence as well. Now, the one thing that I should probably say about this quest is that personally, if I do need the two, I'm pretty sure I need the two. I need to capture both of them because it says you need you you, you want to capture them and bring them back to Agathor Crex. So. If I do need to capture both of them, I have no idea how anyone without a blunt weapon would be able to do this because, I mean, yeah, okay, maybe uh, maybe if you're like super well geared, I'm not well geared at the moment, but if you're super well geared, I don't know why you'd be doing this quest in the first place because, of course, you know, having the armor capable of withstanding attacks, if you are to go into the actual battle itself, then, you know, you're not going to really need to do this quest in the first place. But anyway, it seems like uh, maybe it's not very well designed. Personally, I feel like what should happen is you can go into the battle and then they should just automatically get taken prisoner because you've done the, the whole busy work of, of following them and everything. And personally, it was very difficult. It was very, very difficult indeed. I had to make a huge amount of guesses and everything. And, uh, well, uh, it was uh, kind of awful. Anyway... We are going to hopefully try and find where Agathor Krex is. I actually hoped that he would be around McCann here. So let me see where he is. Yorid Castle and Growl Castle. Okay, well, where is... Where is that? Oh, there's Yorid Castle and Growl Castle is over here. All right, so he's a little bit over to... 
this direction. Alright, so here we are with Agathor Krex once again. We meet again, and as I thought, he says, I asked you for two prisoners, Scout Wilkins, not one. Two. Still, I suppose you did capture the spy's handler, the more important one of the pair. The spy will not dare return here, and will prove quite useless to whatever master he served. Tis better than nothing. However, you'll understand if I pay you half the promised reward for what is but half a success. Well, technically, I would personally say that all that matters really is capturing the spy's master, but okay. I'll uh, I'll accept your your excuses, Agathor Cracks. Yes, okay, so do you have any other tasks? I have a sensitive matter. The fact is I have a spy in... Oh, uh, really? You have a spy everywhere, by the looks of things. I don't mind a bit of skullduggery. Yeah, I actually do, but okay. Uh, how, will I, how will I recognize the spy? The armoire dances at midnight. The spy will respond with the phrase, But does he dance for the dresser or the candlestick? Isn't the armoire a kind of uh, chest of drawers or something like that? So uh, why why would why would it be he dancing for the? Oh well, I, I don't know. I'm not going to not going to question the wonderfully clever Agathor Krex, and we are just going to uh, well have a look here. You shall have to use stealth. Take care to avoid enemy strongholds, villages, and patrols, and don't bring too many men for you, uh, with you even. Ah, yes. Mm, right. Does he dance for the da da da? Yes, Armoire dances at midnight. Alright, so Grozny, where's that again? That's Valley Hill clan territory as far as I'm aware, right? Oh my! Oh, that that's kinda bad. Oh well, that is kinda bad. I guess we're gonna have some fun avoiding those Valley Hill peoples again. Ah, so look at this. We actually have a very wonderfully bad situation on our hands. Did you did you think that I was gonna say something awesome there? Yeah, yeah, well, anyway, 59 against 61. That sounds okay, right? Well, there's actually some Volhir people here, and uh, I feel like we're gonna have some problems with them, but, uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, okay. Let's just take a look at the environment, shall we scout, before we make any prejudgments of what is actually gonna happen here. Thankfully, Allendell is hopefully gonna help us out with his surgery here and everything. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get my archers to the mm, sort of middle section of the slope, and we're just gonna try and force Whoever it is, uh, it's actually a uh, Valley Hill clan patrol that I was attempting to pursue, and they ran into some of their friends, the Volhir Barbarians. And so, thankfully, it's not too big a party that we have to deal with here, but I am a bit worried about it. I think it could probably be a bit of an issue for us. So, let's see what we're able to do. I kind of want to put my cavalry all the way over there, because I'd like them to come in from the side, if at all possible, because I feel like they're probably going to have some difficulties dealing with the Volhir's two-handed weapons. Alright, so we've begun our bombardment of the opponent, and I think we're probably going to have an easy time here, at least initially. Or I could be wrong. Well, let's have a look. Maybe I'll be able to do a little bit of damage myself. Who is that? That guy's just taking taking bolts like candy, isn't he? Oh my. Wow, he actually made it? Wow, that's a Valley here Hilligord. Okay, well, we've seen a couple of those previously, haven't we? Okay, so that's kind of harsh. Let's see if I'm actually able to... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a kill for Scout Wilkins. Very nice. Okay, come on now. Can I get some more? Can I get some more kills? That would be nice. Or at least... I'm pretty happy with the proficiency, actually. I don't even mind if I don't get the experience, but getting the proficiency is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to just help out a little bit along the way as well. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to get the next level or, well, probably not the next level, but we'll probably be able to do pretty well in some respects, you know. Ah, oh, there's a nice headshot. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's tell our cavalry and our infantry just to charge straight on in now, and hopefully our crossbowmen will do what they do very, very nicely. Oh, it seems like we're actually winning this really easily. Oh, look at that. There's level 11. Very nice. Okay, that's exactly what I like to see. Very good. Now, maybe, just maybe, uh, you know what? You know what I should do? Hey, 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 move, move it. Ah, uh, they, they apparently do not like to move it, move it, and uh, yes, they did not make any space for me. Great. Anyway, I'm going to move in here and hopefully do some... Oh my, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. I like it. Very nice indeed. And we're able to take these guys prisoner, do bear that in mind. I, I'm actually kind of saddened now that I was unable to knock some people unconscious. It would have been kind of nice to knock them unconscious. 
but oh well, never mind. Speaking of knocking unconscious though, it seems like we have some really, really nice torso armor right here. Yes, it has nothing to do with knocking unconsciousness, does it? No, absolutely not. It was just a, a segue. Isn't that wonderful? Oh well, never mind. There you go. So hopefully uh, Alan Dell has, you know, given himself whatever gear that I had here. And now we will be able to continue onward to our spy rendezvous. Alright, so we got to get to Grozny to be able to meet with the spy. Personally, I don't know whether that's really going to happen with this patrol bearing down on us right now. And you can see here, whoa, they're actually catching up like nothing else. And now they're running away. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. Apparently we're going to do battle with these guys. I'm actually kind of surprised that they wanted to attack us. There's a huge amount of patrols around here, by the way, by the looks of things. And uh, yeah, there's obviously a vassal with 135. I did just see some... People of Valahir clan up to the sort of like north area and uh, they are they're rocking 700 oh yeah they are really doing a huge amount and uh, I don't exactly know how we're gonna deal with them and even get by I mean that's the thing I don't have do I have a castle I don't think I have a castle I think I just have a village yeah I think I just have a village so it's gonna be very difficult for me to quote unquote, get rid of some units, or at the very least, you know, take few men, like Agathor Krex suggested. So I don't know how that's going to work, but I do know that hopefully I'll be able to take a couple of these guys prisoner. I actually do have a couple of prisoners, and uh, yeah, one of them is actually a Knight of the Eagle, so we're going to get quite a bit of cash from him, hopefully. That guy seems pretty well armored, actually. I'd like to be able to use my blunt weapon on him to maybe take him prisoner, but if my cavalry decide that they are going to get the kill, then that's absolutely fine with me. As long as, you know, as long as we win the fight without too many casualties, that's all I really, you know, care about at this point. Oh, that was a Valley here Huskar. That would have been actually pretty nice to take prisoner, but as I say, really doesn't matter to me too much. Oh, this is a divine... Is that a divine Aethling right there? Do they really... Wait, wait a minute. They can't have divine Aethlings, can they? I don't think they can. Well, whatever the case, I'm going to try and knock him unconscious. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, that's uh, that's a Hillegord. That's another Hillegord. Wow, they have at least one of those in every single patrol by the looks of things. And it's really making things very difficult for us. You can see here that even so, there's huge amounts of high tier units, even in patrols. That's crazy. That is really, really crazy and pretty harsh, actually, but oh well, never mind. I suppose we are technically taking on an enemy faction, and I suppose they should have some kind of threat to them, uh, especially the patrols, I guess, but they are very, very quick, so these patrols can definitely get you into some sticky situations because you're going to have these guys just, just engaging upon you when there's a very, very large opponent nearby, and then you're going to be, well... Not very good, yes. You're, you're not going to be in a good state. Anyway, there's five right now. Not too bad, I guess, for such a small battle. Oh my. Oh yes. This is exactly the kind of people we want to rescue. Perizno Holy Champions. They are amazing. Fantastic. All right. So, yeah, I'm currently here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode of here. But next time, we're going to try and get close to Grozny. I don't know whether it's really going to work because, as I say, I did see a people of Valahir clan party right around here and I don't really want to get murdered. So with that, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.